channel, Sweetest Tea TV, Sandra D, that's me. And I decided to do another video about Chadwick Bosman. And, you know, today I was at work and I was thinking, you know, why didn't he let anybody know he was sick? So as I start to think and, you know, I, w I wrote some things down and it came to me from a spiritual point and a human point, human humanity, you know. So, you know, I went back to his name because I always like to find meaning and stuff, guys. So I was like, what is the meaning of his name? The meaning of Chadwick means from the warrior's town. And he was a warrior. That's why nobody knew he was sick. Because he, his name means warrior. And warrior means a brave or experienced soldier or fighter. He was brave in his, his, his fight for his life. He was battling cancer, guys. And he, he, he made four great movies battling colon cancer. And, you know, I just thought that that was truly, a, you know, just it, it shows his character. You know, when God says he He formed us in our mother's womb, he named us before we even, you know, became into existence. So God knew what he was put on this earth and what he was going to do, you know, and, you know, I was like, um, you know, knowing that he visited while he was sick, he visited St. Jude's Hospital. He visited kids in the hospital. You know, while he was fat, while he was fighting for his own life. And do you guys know what that means? For someone to suffer in silence? You know, he still went to work. He still had a smile on his face when he was interacting with the kids. You know, he was very strong. He was a warrior, you know, and, you know, he's, he's looking at these kids with cancer. They, they don't have hair, you know, and some of them trying to hold on just to, to, to see the Black Panther movie. Do you understand what that means? How would you respond if you were looking death in the face? We didn't know he was sick. But he visited the hospitals, he visited the sick kids, and he was in the same boat. He was looking his own death in the face. But he was fighting against death. He was holding on. And the impact he had was great. You know, he lived up to his warrior name. And... I, I I was wondering another thing. Why why do you guys think he didn't tell anybody? Because in Hollywood, they make the decisions for you. Oh, he's he he gonna be too weak to do it. Oh oh, he's too sick, or he looked this, or we don't want to put his body through this. He didn't want anybody to know because he didn't want anything holding him back for what God had planned for him. He wanted all the things that was predestined for his life to happen to happen. So, you know, I was thinking of a scripture, you know, how he kept so strong and fit and nobody knew because God, I was thinking of this scripture, God knows the plans for your life. He has plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And I was just sitting at work, just thinking about this. And I clicked on a video where he was speaking to this college graduates. And he said the scripture, y'all. 
he said that scripture in his his um in his speech and i'm gonna put a clip in here finally i thought of ali in the middle of the yard in his elder years drawing from his victories and his losses at that moment i realized something knew about this the greatness of Ali and how he carried his crown. I realized that he was transferring something to me on that day. He was transferring the spirit of the fighter in me. He was, he was transferring the spirit of the fighter to me. He was transferring the spirit of the fighter to me. Sometimes you need to feel the pain and sting of defeat to activate the real passion and purpose that God predestined inside of you. God says in Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And I'm going to show y'all, but I didn't even watch the video. So it's like it, it just in aligned with what I was already feeling and thinking. God knows his plans for you. So anything that's trying to stop you, it, it ain't going to work. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to work. So I just wanted to come on here, you know, and access Hollywood. I saw, too, that he was a very private person. That's another reason he probably. But. He didn't want nothing holding him back. You know, he didn't want anybody feeling sorry for him or having pity for him. He wanted to carry out his legacy. And that's why, you know, his future will go on, his legacy from generations to generations. So I just wanted to come and um, say that little piece for y'all. But chat again. And guys, not to glorify death or anything, but I just want to give him a, a special thanks too because, you know, I've been trying to do these YouTube videos and I made a couple of videos. And his video is the highest viewed video I have so far. So that goes to show a test of his character and how many people loved him and how many fans he had because they wanted to... to, to to come and look at my video to see how I was feeling and what I had to express about his life. So again, I'm just thankful. And he was a truly a gift, guys. Still, he's a gift in death. He's still doing great things. So I just wanted to come in here and um, tell y'all. And don't forget, you know, new subscribers. Thank y'all for subscribing. The ones who are watching, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think, you know, and don't forget that Jesus loves you. So till next time, peace.